Hello everyone, welcome to the Software Coding Tutorials channel. My name is Tommy and today I will be walking you through uh, the C++ bit set class. So what is C++ bit set? Bit set represents a fixed size sequence of numbers of bits and stores value either 0 or 1. 0 is equal to a value that is says is set to false or bit is unset. One is a value that is set to true or bit is set. So bit set class emulates space efficient array of boolean values where each element occupies only one bit. So I will go through an example of how you can use the bit set class in C++ to manip manipulate bits. Okay, let's open up VS Code and create a um, new directory so click on this icon to create the new folder type in bit set then in here click on this icon to create a new file we call this bit set dot cpp okay next let's include bit set Okay, this allows us to create the bit set, include C assert, which allow us to call the assert routine, then include IO stream, which is allow us to do standard um, input and output, declare using namespace standard. Okay. And then in here we declare main. Okay, first thing is I want to declare standard bit set. And I'm going to create, uh, you know, four bits. So it's going to be 0, 0, 1. Okay. And then I would like, you know, to convert this to a string. So I'm going to say uh, quad do string and I can do quant dot to string right for the conversion to happen and if I want to convert this to an unsigned long I can do so by type in quant to long quant to u long and then save it uh, and then let's check out, um, let's cd to this directory and then do a g++ bit set to see what the output is. Okay, if you type dot a dot out, you can see that it prints out 0, 0, 1. That's what we're expecting. And the conversion is a 1, which is what we expect. Next, we compute the bit, uh, the sum of the bits. So we can declare standard bit set sum equal to quad to u, u long plus zero b zero one zero one. Okay, and let's do a c out of it. Okay, let's save it. <clears throat> and here, let's do a 
uh, compilation and then uh, let's clear it so you can see what the output looks like and as you can see 1 plus 5 is 0, 1, 1, 0 and that conversion is really equal to 6 okay okay so next function is the reset so we can reset all the bits to 0 and to do, do to do this we just do quad dot reset okay and let's do a C out quad to string and see what it looks like so save it go back here and recompile do a a dot out and as you can see when you do a quad reset this all the bits become zero okay so the next function is called quad I'm sorry is set so if you want all the bits to set equal to one you see out set all bits to one we call the quad dot set okay and um, let's check out what it looks like so if we do quad dot two string and recompile the code and you can see below all the bits are now one instead of zero like what we saw before okay so the next function is called flip so flip allow us to flip the bits so if we do quad dot flip okay so c out quad to string Okay, so note that all the bits were set to 1 before. Now let's see what happened when we flip all the bits. And let's compile the project. Sorry, the file. And you can see that all the bits were 1s. Now I'm using the flip method. Everything is set to 0. okay so the next example is I'm gonna use a set method again but I'm gonna set just one bit um, at a position so let's do quad dot set one so at position one I wanna set that to true and let's do an assert quad equal to 0b001 so I mean okay now the assertion would fail if this is not equal right but anyhow I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, quad to string to see to let you see what the um, the values look like and let's save this and recompile and yes I flipped it and now it's zero zero one zero okay okay so next I can uh, set the bit zero to true and um, 
So we should expect 0, 0, 1. Okay, and let's check out the output. And let's recompile this code. And you can see below uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, which is what we expect. Okay, and same thing with flip and reset their positional so you can uh, do the same thing as what you saw here okay and uh, thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel um, and uh, you can watch more of these great videos see you later bye